Welcome to learn yourself. Write this sum from page number 71. This is the first question and it says that the bar graph figure 3.2 which I have shown you here shows the result of survey to test water resistance watches made by different company. Now what is the meaning of water resistant watches means even if you will put it into a water it will still work that means it is water resistant it resists the water it will still function even if you will wear it under water so that is the meaning of water resistant watches now each of these companies claimed that their watches were water resistant after a test the above results were revealed so here we have to interpret the bar graph that what they are telling us first we will see it here that this blank bar will tell us the number tested how many watches they have tested so for company a b c d they have tested 40 watches for each of the companies that is number tested and the gray bar will tell us that the number that leaked how many watches were faulty and they were leaked the water got into them and they stopped working that is the meaning of number of watches leaked and this watches are not good they are not water resistant so if the company has maximum number of watches which are leaked that means it is not good this count should be low as low as possible then only that company has good watches so now let us find out that how many leaked watches are there per company or for each company here i have noted down here i have made one table and you can see that a b c d and watches tested for each company are same that is 40 the first question is can you work out a fraction of the number of the watches that leaked to the number tested for each company so we have to write it here fraction and what fraction we need to write here number of the watches that leaked so here number of the watches which are leaked that we have to write below the number of watches which are tested for this experiment so this fraction we have to find out for all the four company now let us find out that how many watches are leaked per company so first let us find out for a you can put a ruler or a scale and check the number here i have made already marked so that we can see it easily that company a has this bar graph shows us that number of leaked watches so it is 20 so for company a 20 watches were leaked similarly for company b as you can see it is 10 company c it is coming in between 20 and 10 so i am taking here 15 then for company d it is coming in between 30 and 20 this red mark is for company d so it tells us 25 so this many watches are leaked per company now we need to find out the fraction that, that number of watches leaked to the number of tested watches so it is going to be 20 divided by 40 and it will give us 1 by 2 this is the fraction we will get for company a similarly 10 by 40 it will give us 1 by 4 after that 15 by 40 it will give us 3 by 8 then 25 by 40 it will give us 5 by 8 let us understand the simplification of 15 by 40 that here i have written 3 into 5 divided by i will get here 4 into 10 so i will get here 3 by 8 4 into 2 is 8 so i got here 3 by 8 similarly for 25 by 40 let us understand the simplification it is 5 into 5 divided by 4 into 10 so 5 twos are 10 and i will get here 5 divided by 4 into 2 so 8 so that is how i got this two simplification from 15 by 40 and 25 by 
40. So now these are our fractions and what fractions we have found out? Fractions we have found out that number of watches which were leaked divided by number of watches tested. So these are these are the answer for first question that we got this fraction. Our second question says that could you tell on this basis which company has better watches? Better watches means they should have less number of watches which are leaked. So let us note down the fraction we got it from the first question. So A has 1 by 2, B has 1 by 4, C has 3 by 8 and D has 5 by 8. Now we have to find out that which fraction is less. Then only we will get to know that which company is doing better because these fractions are tell us that these watches are not good because they are leaked. Now we have to compare this fraction and see which fraction is bigger and which fraction is smaller. So how to compare the fractions? We have all these fractions here. To compare the fraction, we have to make all the denominators same. So we have here denominator 8. So we will convert the first two fraction into denominator 8. So how are we going to do that? So this 2, we are going to convert it into 8. Simply we cannot do it. We have to multiply above and below with same number. And we will convert it into 4 by 8. As you can see, we have converted this 2 into 8. And we are going to make all the denominators equal like this. So 1 into 2 and in division 4 into 2. If you have any doubt regarding this, please check my video based on comparing fractions. So in that you will get to know how to compare the fraction and how to make their denominators equal. So here we have now 4 fractions that 4 by 8, 2 by 8, 3 by 8, and 5 by 8. Now let us compare them. When denominators are same, we are only seeing the numerator and the numerator which is bigger, that number or that fraction will be bigger. So here 5 by 8 is the biggest fraction, then comes 4 by 8, then comes 3 by 8 and then comes 2 by 8. So 2 by 8 is the smallest fraction. 2 by 8 is the smallest fraction. Now let us identify which companies are these. 5 by 8 means this is a company D. 3 by 8 this is company C. 2 by 8 this is company B and 4 by 8 this is company A. That means this fraction is smallest. That means company B has the smallest fraction of the watches which are leaked. In turn, we can say that company B has better watches. Try these sums from page number 71. This is second question. Sale of English and Hindi books in year 1995, 1996, 1997 and 1998 are given below. So we have this table here in which these are the years and during these years we have sale of the books which are in Hindi and English. So in 1995, 350 English books were sold and 500 Hindi books were sold. Like that we have data for 4 years for Hindi and English. Now we have to answer some of the question based on this. Draw a double bar graph and answer the following questions. So first we have to draw a double bar graph. Why is it double bar graph? Because as you can see in 1995 we have 
sell of two types of books english books and hindi books so it will come something like this this is our x axis this is our y axis on x axis we are going to write this years that 1995 1996 1997 and 1998 and here we are going to take a scale of this number of books was sold so here for 1995 we are going to show two bars one bar for english one bar for hindi so it will be something like this in 1995 we are going to show two bar graphs like this that's why it is known as double bar graph for one year we are showing two different bars that is so it will be very easy for us to come for comparison that how many english books were sold and how many hindi books were sold and we have to answer two questions after we are drawing this bar graph so this question we are not going to answer based on this number we are first going to draw bar graph and then from bar graph we are going to answer this question so here this is my graph sheet on which already i have written 1995 6 and 1997 and 1998 as you can see here that i have kept two boxes in between two years and that is how i that is how i have taken a scale on x axis this is my y axis over here on y axis i have taken 100 200 300 400 500 600 and 700 these are number of books here these are years so let us first check for the year 1995 so 350 english books were sold so here i am going to mark this bar for english and similarly this bar for hindi so i am taking horizontally five columns for english and five columns for hindi so let us first take a reading for english that is 350 as you can see here this is in the middle so here this is 350 after that 400 will be there so for english going to by this is going to be my reading and from here i am going to join it till down then hindi hindi is 500 so this will be my reading for hindi this i am going to draw it till down similarly for 1996 400 for english so this two lines i am taking for the bar graph this i am going to take for english and this i am going to take for hindi so for here 400 will be for english and 525 this is going to be 500 and it is going to be 525 over here same for 1997 it is 450 600 so 600 is over here then 1998 620 600 is here and here this is going to be 620 some what lesser than 625 650 will come over here 650 so if i will draw a line from here till the down then this is going to be my bar graph and similarly all the lines i am going to draw it till down how i have taken this line five columns horizontally i have taken so if this is a line for 1998 then here i have taken five columns towards this side and five columns towards this side this side it is going to be for the english and this side this is going to be for the hindi that is how i am going to draw a bar graph now this i have taken two different color this is going to be for this is for english this is for hindi for the year 1995 same for 96 and 97 98 when you are drawing this kind of bar graph in your notebook one bar you can make it little shady with your pencil so it will be different compared to other bar graph shade one of the bar with the pencil so it will be different compared to other bar but make sure that if you are 
if you are shading graph bar graph of english books and throughout you have to shade this bars only which belongs to cell of english books so here i have mentioned with the color coding that blue represents the english books and yellow represents the hindi books now let us answer this question in which year was the difference in the sale of two language books least where you can see the difference is very very less so here we can see the difference is least or difference is very less so the answer for the first question is in the year 1998 the difference was least between the sale of two language books then question number b can you say that the demand for english books rose faster so this blue bar graph represents english books so yes demand for english books have been rose here faster so yes we can say that from the bar graph that demand for the english books have been risen since 1995 Oh <laughs>